Good morning, everyone. Today, UPAC proceeded in significant arrest-related cases of presumed corruption. One of the persons arrested and elected official is the current mayor of the city of Montreal. Michael Applebaum faces 14 criminal charges of fraud towards the government, breach of trust, conspiracy, and municipal corruption. The others accused in the same file, same file are Jean-Yves Gisson and Saul Zazdel. I will now let the Captain Henri Boulanger, who is in charge of corruption investigation for the Quebec Provincial Police Service des Enquêtes sur la Corruption, give you some of the details of the investigation. The investigation which led to today's arrest started with some solid information that we received last March. The allegations, which are in relation with Project Mayan, target the period of 2006 to 2011. This allegation rests essentially on obtaining permission and political support on two real estate projects in the Côte des Neiges, Notre Dame de Grand district. The person arrested were, at the time of the allegation, elected officials and public officials for the Côte des Neiges, Notre Dame de Grand district. In order to arrive to today's arrest, SQ corruption investigators met with many witnesses and obtained many court authorization. Approximately 20 police officers participated in today's arrest. Finally, the charges that have been authorized by the Crown Prosecutor are as follows. Fraud towards the government, breach of trust, conspiracy, municipal corruption, and secret commissions. LUPAC has a mandate to protect the public system and the Quebec economy. We can no longer tolerate these reprehensible acts committed towards the management of our public institutions. The values of ethics and integrity must remain at the heart of the action taken by our elected officials and all employees of Quebec public function. But also the principle of integrity applies to suppliers of goods and services who deal with the state. In order to obtain our goal, a team of about 300 people work daily on criminal, penal, and administrative investigation, verification, detecting, and preventing, notably on some of the largest construction sites across the province of Quebec, so that the corruption and collusion will no longer be tolerated. The message is clear. All actions which compromise the integrity of the state are unacceptable for the public. 